Tooney Makes, my name is Callie, and today I am so excited to share with you my pumpkin pie recipe. So this recipe is so simple, it is so delicious, it is just out of this world, and it is the perfect pumpkin pie recipe for your holiday table, and I know you're gonna love it. I love pumpkin pie, this is one of my favorite holiday desserts, and I just cannot wait to share this recipe with you. But before we begin, as always, please remember to subscribe, like, share, chat in the comment section, and follow me on social media for more recipes and additional content. So, first things first, we're gonna make the pie crust and um, it only has a few ingredients and those are some flour, a little bit of cinnamon. Here I have some unsalted butter that is very, very cold. Having cold ingredients is probably the most crucial aspect of um, this recipe or really any pie crust that you make. Um, so what I've done is I've taken one stick of unsalted butter, I popped it in my freezer just a few hours before I began making this. I mean, you don't have to, but that's just a way to ensure that the um, butter is gonna stay really cold. And I have just grated it on the largest setting of my cheese grater, like so, and it is nice and cold. And another trick for keeping the butter cold is to, after you grate it, pop it in the freezer and to right until you are ready to use it, okay? Keep this very, very cold. Cold butter is what's gonna give you um, a really flaky crust. And these larger chunks that you get from the cheese grater are also gonna help maintain that really flaky crust as well. Um, so that's very important. I used to do this in a food processor, but I just always find when I make pie crust in a food processor, I always over blend it and I don't get as large of chunks as I do using a cheese grater. So to me, this is the way to go, but you can do this in a food processor if you'd like. Here I have some salt. Here I have some ice water everything really, really cold, and a little bit of vanilla that is cold as well. Stick an ice cube in it, pop it in the freezer, whatever you have to do, just keep all the ingredients nice and cold. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is, com is combine, excuse me, all of our dry ingredients. So I have my flour, my cinnamon, this is my salt that I'm adding here, and I'm just gonna give this a stir with a fork. And this pie crust that we're making has a ton of flavor, you know, between the vanilla and the cinnamon. It's really gonna pack a punch. And it's kind of like not your average pie crust, I would say. We're gonna add our wet ingredients. So first, we're gonna add in our water and our vanilla. And now at this point, I'm gonna add in my butter. So what I'm gonna do next is just partially incorporate some of the butter with the flour again. And then once it's somewhat incorporated, it's not gonna be even in a, a dough ball at this point, so don't even try to do that with the fork. I'm gonna turn this out onto my work surface and I'm going to combine the rest. So this is what we're looking for. As you can see, it's not even close to being in a dough ball and that's okay. That's gonna look really dry, but that's okay. You have to trust me. It's all gonna come together. So I'm gonna put this all on my board and all I'm gonna do at this point is just kind of with my hands, clean hands of course, just start kind of squeezing it together and it's gonna feel like it's not gonna come together. But you have to trust me, it will. Before you know it, it's gonna all come together. It's gonna be great. Okay, so remember how this looked so dry and like the dough was just never gonna come together in a ball? Well, look at it now. It is all pretty much all cohesive. And now what I wanna do is just kind of form it into a disc. So I'm gonna pop this into the refrigerator for one hour and then we will proceed with the filling. Okay, so now that the dough is in the refrigerator and it's almost done chilling, let's get going on the filling. And we have some granulated sugar, brown sugar, pure pumpkin puree, a couple of egg yolks, a couple of large eggs. Here I have some pumpkin pie spice. Go ahead and use your own combination of spices. I'm using some cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, ginger a little bit of allspice. You could use some cardamom or go ahead and buy um, just the prepackaged pumpkin pie spice, whatever you'd like to do. I have some melted butter, vanilla, half and half, salt, and that's it. So this part is super, super simple. We're gonna take our uh, both types of sugar along with our eggs and just give this a whisk to combine. Okay, this is looking good. And so to this, we are going to add our pure pumpkin puree. Make sure you're using pure pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling. And so I'm gonna add this. You know, I'm just gonna add the rest of my ingredients and give this a stir. That is how simple this is. Okay, so now that my filling is ready, I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna work on our dough. My dough, I just took out of the refrigerator a second ago and it is nice and chilled. It is pretty 
you know, solid at this point, and that's exactly how you want it. Um, the more you roll it out, it's going to get a lot more pliable. So I don't even like leaving it at room temperature for long before I start uh, rolling it out. I take it out of the refrigerator and then I start rolling like I'm doing now. I'm gonna put down some flour so nothing sticks to my work surface. So now, again, this is gonna look funny. It's gonna look like this dough is really hard to work with, but that is okay. Just give it some time, have a little bit of patience. Before you know it, this is gonna be very, very, very easy to roll out. So I'm just gonna keep rolling it and spinning it 90 degrees until it is nice and flat. Now, just roll it into like a pretty large circular shape. It does not need to be perfect. If it starts kind of tearing at the sides, don't worry, we're gonna be, tri be trimming those sides anyways. Okay, so this is about ready to go. It's looking very rugged and that is okay. Do not worry about it. It is all gonna work out in the end. So one of the ways you can transfer the uh, pie dough into the pie pan that is generously greased is to just roll it very carefully around the rolling pin. This is one way to do it. I mean, you could also just kind of lift it into the pan if you'd like, but I think this is a pretty, one proof full proof kind of way. And then just kind of roll it back out. Look at that, so simple. Okay, so this is about ready, but I also want to just point out that this is a good time to kind of patch up any of the dough if you feel like you need to. And we'll trim up the sides momentarily. So next what we're gonna do is just add in the filling. So the filling is going in. I don't wanna leave any of that goodness behind. Okay, so now I'm just taking this time to take a sharp knife and run it around the sides to get rid, rid of, you know, just some of the excess pie dough. Okay, so one thing you could do at this point is just kind of crimp the edges. So what I'm doing is taking my pointer finger and my pointer finger and my thumb. And I'm just making little indents around the sides like so. Again, this is optional. Okay, so next, this goes into the oven for, I would say, an hour. I will show you what it looks like when it's there. Okay, so my pie is looking amazing. It baked for exactly one hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is looking great. When it comes out of the oven, it's gonna have a little bit of a jiggle, and it might seem like the edges might be a little bit more set than the center, but that is okay, that is totally normal. Um, and your next step is to let this sit just until it cools down a little bit at room temperature for maybe 30 minutes or so, and then it needs to go into your refrigerator for several hours up until overnight, which I know you might be thinking like, I just wanna eat this right now, I know that's what I'm thinking, but the plus side to this is if you're serving this at your holiday table, you can kind of make everything ahead of time and then it's less work on the day of the holiday. And so mine is going into my refrigerator it's overnight. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I am gonna give you a close up of just how creamy and dreamy this pumpkin pie is. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I am confident that you will. This pumpkin pie is perfect for Thanksgiving, Christmas. You are absolutely going to love it, and let me know what you think. And as always, for the full bread recipe and instructions, head to my blog, moviemakes.com. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. Click on the link, the recipe will pop right up. And make this pumpkin pie, and let me know what you think, because I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time, bye.